bronze sculptures from the northwest African nation of Burkina Faso are prized both on the home continent and by European art collectors. But this important sector of the country's economy is hampered by the scarcity of vital raw materials. Clementine Logan has details. Burkina Faso's bronze workers brave searing temperatures. Crafting their famed statues starts in the kiln, which melts down the copper. We are working with bronze. You can make a living out of it. We have done it for years, although it's no longer easy. Previously, this courtyard was full of people with almost 40 employees. But today, we don't exceed eight. That's since the attacks. We no longer have customers as the foreigners aren't coming. And the market is open for a shorter time. Bronze is an alloy of copper and tin, but these crucial raw materials are becoming increasingly difficult to get hold of. In Europe, when you talk about bronze in big industries, it is copper mixed with tin. Here, tin is very expensive, so we cannot afford to buy it for alloy. Right now, to have it in large quantities is difficult. This is why we've replaced tin with zinc. We also recycle bits of bronze. Over time, Burkina Bay bronze workers have created an array of artwork with statues of men, animals and even planes. There's a lot of variety, tall, short, men and women. I just bought a woman who is sitting, which I'll put by the chimney in my house. It's really original. The colors are also different. Instead of being the natural bronze color, there's also green and brown. It's good quality work. I love these colorful, skinny statues. It's exceptional craftsmanship. The government is implementing various mechanisms to try and help Burkina Faso's bronze workers finance their art. At the ministry level, we want to introduce modules in marketing, computer science, English and management alongside their practical training. We think that these are essential in helping them meet the demands of a globalized world. In spite of the hurdles they face, Burkina Bay bronze workers have succeeded in making Ouagadougou the bronze capital of the world. Clementine Logan, CCTV.